Ann Parkman said that in addition to an inter international flavor, she wanted me to lead the congregation into the new century with a serious message. Well, hey, the time for serious messages during the keynote address and during the body of the conference itself. Don't you agree? By now, all the serious messages should have been nailed firmly to rest. <laughs> Even so, I thought about some of the serious messages I might hose you down with. But only one seemed important enough to mention, even, even briefly, and that's the issue of globalization. The globalizing issue is going to be with us for many years to come, and it has implications for all of us, because every one of us is going to have to learn to work and to communicate with people of other environments and other cultures. Regardless of where we work from, and regardless of where we come from. And that means that danger lurks. Because even if we never leave home, the miracle of modern communication makes it possible for us to offend and mislead more people in five minutes <laughs> than our most obnoxious ancestors could in five lifetimes. Have you seen your email lately? <laughs> Just as one example of, of the dangers that lurk in the globalizing trend, think about the risky act of offering instructional materials and products to other cultures without first carefully testing them for cultural suitability. Let me offer a couple of examples that underline this danger of going public without such careful testing in the target culture. <clears throat> For example, when Pepsi translated its famous slogan, come alive with the Pepsi generation, into Chinese without testing, it was interpreted as, Pepsi brings your ancestors back from the grave. <laughs> When Coors translated its slogan, turn it loose, into Spanish, untested, it was read as, suffer from diarrhea. <laughs> when Frank Perdue's chicken slogan, it takes a strong man to make a tender chicken, was translated into Spanish, untested, it was interpreted as, it takes an aroused man to make a chicken affectionate. <clears throat> Think about that. Think about the materials you're sending around the world <laughs> and wonder what they're laughing at. <laughs> but Americans aren't the only ones who can blow it big time on the international stage when going to the marketplace without testing. For example, when a Scandinavian vacuum cleaner manufacturer directed its slogan at the American market here in the United States, a slogan that was translated, but untested, it came out, nothing sucks like an electrolyte. <laughs> <laughs> 